The Lake Wales Museum Association is committed to creating an outstanding public museum to share the captivating natural and human history of the Lake Wales Ridge. An event that features great food and drink is going to be something that you don't want to miss. All the details are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti, and with me here today is uh, Monica Pierce, uh, the director over at uh, the Lake Wales Museum and Cultural Center. Thank you for having me here. So, uh, thanks for coming in. We like having you. Uh, I want to talk to you about a few things today uh, that you guys have coming up, mm -hmm. but uh, for uh, those folks who might not be uh, familiar with you guys or have gotten out to the, the ridge lately, um, tell us a little bit about what you're, you guys do out there. Um, so the Lake Wales Museum and Cultural Center is really a great place to come and learn about the history of Lake Wales and the surrounding area. Um, we talk about why people came to that area in the first place. Um, they were pulled in, you know, largely by the railroads coming through and the um, availability of um, long, la long leaf pine trees um, for the turpentine industry. And of course, um, cattle ranching was big in the area and citrus became very big in the area and still is today. Uh, we looked at that quite a bit. Um, and so we have all new displays um, and exhibits that, that really can kind of highlight for people um, what Lake Wales is all about. Well, I know you guys are doing some new things. I know you've partnered with uh, uh, Polk County History Center on a, a couple of things like the walking tour. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I. I've known you guys growing up being a native here as the Depot Museum. Right. <laughs> uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. Um, and so it always gets me though, I mean, the, the amount of history that's out there um, to kind of put it in perspective that that used to be kind of the bustling hub mm -hmm. of the county, not what you, you know, typically consider now with Lakeland, Winter Haven being like the two dominant cities. It, it's really different. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, back in the 19 teens, Lake Wales was really lucky to have uh, two different train lines running through it. It had the Atlantic Coastline Railroad coming north south, and then the Seaboard Airline rail Railway coming east west. So, um, for you know, a small town starting out, that was certainly something that they were excited to have. And um, they certainly had quite a few boosters in the area that um, worked very hard to. Um, get train lines through there, um, get new roads coming through um, by the late 19-teens um, in the movement called the Good Roads Movement, which really opened up Polk County, um, and really to advertise the area to northerners um, to come down and um, enjoy, you know, the, the atmosphere and the weather and the beautiful bucolic lakes and rolling hills that the ridge provides to people in central Florida. So. Well, it, it's fascinating, the stuff that you guys put together. And, you know, I always encourage people, if they haven't gotten out to see you to get to it. I mean, it's, it's pretty neat, especially when you're looking at the Polk County history. Um, but, you know, you're also here today to uh, talk about an event you guys have coming up. Yeah, we're really excited in partnership with the Lake Wales Museum Association, which is an advocacy group for the museum. They're a, a nonprofit group that helps to support um, our cause. Um, and basically that's their cause. They're, we're gonna have a fundraiser called Beers with Pioneers, um, which will be a great event. We here in Central Florida have a lot of different craft breweries popping up. Um, so we wanna highlight their work, their, their local work. There are a lot of people who use local resources. So sure. that's kind of a great tie-in um, and event to get people out, show them the museum. Um, and show them what some of the uh, craft breweries are doing in the, the area with some of the local materials that they can use. Um, we have um, several different breweries coming, uh, notably the Lakeland Brewing Company, mm -hmm. uh, Swan Brewing, Grove Roots, Brew Pop. Those are just some of the local ones that will be coming and we'll have um, featured about two, do two dozen different beers. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the ticket is really 
uh, quite a great price at $25. It includes the five ounce tasting glass. I wish I would have brought it, but I didn't. It's a little glass with our logo on mm -hmm. it. Um, the craft beer and the food comes with the ticket. So you can get a little uh, uh, bit of beer and then go eat something and um, continue with the rest of the tour. Uh, the ticket also includes some really great bands that are going to be there, um, including um, Sticky Steve and the Pollinators and uh, Calusa Deja Vu, who are local bands. So we're, we're really excited to do this. And it's our first an annual event. Um, we really have quite a good thing going right now. We've got a lot of great sponsors. Um, Lake Wales Medical Center, McGuire Kia, uh, Kirchie Design is doing a lot of our advertising um, and helping out with that, as well as um, Center State Bank. I mean, we've got a lot of great people in the area helping us out to make this a, a wonderful fundraiser for the, the Lake Wales Museum Association. Well, I find it interesting. Uh, one an event like this, I've been to others before that cost significantly more. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking two, three times the amount for the same type of quality that you guys are bringing. Uh, but I'm fascinated. I I, I like my beer and um, especially the the local breweries. Mm -hmm. And in the last few years, Polk County has really been booming with that. Yes. Um, and I know it really kind of started, you know, with the uh, some of the Tampa breweries, Dunedin, those folks over there, and it's kind of you know coming over to the east a little bit here. Um, you you want to talk a little bit about like some of the ingredients and stuff that they use because I know it's it's pretty particular to our area. Yeah, um, well, just the basics. You know, you got to have you, you got to have your your water, your malt, and your hops definitely. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I'm missing something in there. But those are key ingredients. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the local breweries, such as Grove Roots, I know do a lot with some of the the, um, the citrus plants in the area mm -hmm. and the local honeys and things like that. So um, you, you can really um, do a lot with beer. Again, you have that base that you have to have those kinds of ingredients. You need water. Uh, most things have barley, hops, or malt. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, Brewers and breweries are really kind of open to experimenting with what they want to do based on their local ingredients. So when you have local breweries coming to an event like this, it really is um, more than just drinking beer. It is, again, learning about the... Um, it's a cultural base. It's a cultural base. Yeah. It's you're learning about what's in the area, um, not only, um, you know, just by virtue of being able to go into the museum when you're done having a couple of beers, but also agriculturally, what are these brewers, you know, um, pulling off of? What are they drawing off of? Um, a lot of breweries up north, back at the turn of the 20th century, they located there because the water was there. Mm -hmm. You know, th it's, it's very <clears throat> keen on a brewer's mind or somebody who's developing a brewery, what's in my immediate area that I can draw from. Sure, and I've seen that, you know, just in my traveling around from, you know, going to Asheville, that's also another mm -hmm. big, you know, brew hub to the Northeast, and, you know, going along uh, Atlantic Seaboard, you know, you have those regional uh, type ingredients that go into it Absolutely. that give it such distinctive tastes, and I think it's great what you guys are, you know, bringing in here. And, I think it'll be a great event. I think it's going to be wonderful. I, I um, again, as you had mentioned, the ticket price for everything that's included is is really um, a great deal. Um, and so I hope a lot of people come out and join us. This is our first annual, so it's only going to get better from here. Um, and it's already great, in my opinion. Um, and like you, I've been to different brew fests before, and. A lot of them are really fun, but I think we're going to bring something pretty special. So um, anybody can go online and buy their tickets for 25 bucks uh, at the Lake Wales Museum. Uh, sorry, the the address is lakewalesmuseum.org backslash events, and you can buy them online for $25. And if we have any left the day of, they're 30. So get them ahead of time. Get them while you can. You, <laughs> that's right. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We sure do appreciate having you. Thank you so much. The Lake Wales Museum Association Incorporated invites you to Beers with Pioneers Friday, March 18th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Lake Wales Museum and Cultural Center located at 325 South Scenic Highway in Lake Wales. Enjoy samplings of craft beers from local and regional brewers and food samples from seven area restaurants along with a complimentary mug.
tickets are $25 in advance and $30 at the door if they're available. For more information, you can give them a call at 863-676-1759 or check them out on the web at lakewalesmuseum.org.